Welcome to Linksai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with KVM in Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is KVM and its use cases. KVM, or you can say kernel-based virtual machine, is full virtualization solution for Linux on Intel 64 or AMD 64 hardware that is included in the main line Linux kernel since 2.6.20 and it's stable and fast for most workloads, right? There are many useful features and advantages which you will give, uh, you will gain when you use the KVM to deploy your virtual platform. The main benefits of KVM hypervisor is the na its native availability on Linux. Since KVM is a part of Linux, it is installed natively, enabling straightforward user experience and a smooth integration. So let's begin the lab session. We'll see how we can work with the KVM in Linux. As you can see, this is my Linux virtual machine. And currently, I am using well, 9. Point, let me check 9.2. Right, 9.2. So let me go with the host name serial command also. You will get the exit idea. Yeah, you can see that it's a kernel version is there and uh, 5.14 and rel 9.2. So if you talk about the pre-request of KVM, make sure your system has the hardware virtualization extension for Intel based host machine or AMD based host machine. So we can verify the CPU virtualization extension. VMX are available using the following command like grep hyphen e VMX and proc CPU info. So here you can see that VMX flags is there, right? Similarly, you can check for AMD based host machine, verify the CPU inside the uh, CPU uh, virtualization extension SVM in the place of VMX in proc CPU info file. If there is no output, make sure that virtualization extension is enabled from BIOS. So virtualization extension should be enabled from BIOS, then and only then you can perform this lab. Next, we need to verify the KVM module are loaded in the kernel or not using lsmod command. So list module, pipe grep, and we can search it from here, KVM. So once I press enter, the output should contain KVM underscore Intel for Intel based host or KVM underscore AMD for AMD based host. So my machine is Intel based environment, so I'm getting the KVM underscore Intel. Now move to the next part, which is KVM installation deployment. We can install the virtualization host DNF group package to prepare a system to become a virtualization host. So command is DNF group install then virtualization host okay press enter so okay overall 94 packages are there so let me go to install these package first right are you sure to continue yes it will take some time because size is 1.3 gig right you can see that So let it be complete. Then we can install some extra packages for the better installation, performance, and visualization. So let it be installed first. So just wait, let it be complete. Installation begin. Yep, it's working. So during the package installation, I'm not going to pause the video because I want to view, capture each and everything. But during the installation, definitely I need to pause because otherwise it's going to be very long, right? So let it be complete. So 
in this case your local yum repository should be pre configured so if you know how to configure the yum that's good and if you don't have any idea how to configure the local yum repository you can view my previous videos on my linux playlist where i have clearly mentioned how to install or configure the yum repository in rel 8 or rel 9 so you can just follow those videos and you can configure your own yum server It's working. Ninety four. What I O win. complete verifying all packages complete successfully perfect now we can uh, install some extra packages for better installation performance and visualization that is dnf install install uh, what manager as well as you can see what install 5.5 so Word Manager is a GUI utility to install and manage VMs on Kism platform while Word Install is a command line tool to install and manage the VIMs on your virtualized platform. So after successfully installing this package, we need to enable and start virtualization daemon, which is known as Live Word VMA, right? So which basically manage all the virtualized platform. So let it be complete first, then we will install and enable this service using systemctl command. Yeah, it's very fine. Complete system CTL enable uh, live word D hyphen hyphen now. Okay, let's check the status, should be active and enable. So, status, yep, active running and enable now. Uh, move to the next session, which is create VM using KVM. So, as we mentioned earlier, just uh, we have some. Uh, useful tool to manage our virtualized platform and creating virtual machines. One of the tool is Word Manager, which is GUI based used, or another we have Word Install, which is a command based tool. Let me go with the Word Manager first. It's very easy for the working point of view. Word Manager, that's a graphical environment. You can press Enter and Virtualization Manager console will be open. Or what you can do, you can go with the activity, uh, go to the applications, and inside application, you have Virtual Machine Manager from here. So once you click over there, you will find out virtual machine manager yep this is the virtual machine manager right so this is the GUI console of virtual manager from here we can install update and manage and remove the vms so let me install uh, vm so uh, let me click on this computer little bit icon and once i click it yeah here it is create a new virtual machine so we have a different different methods to installing like install method using iso image or cd rom network installation import disk images or manual installation so for a better time saving purpose, I have uh, my own ISO images where I have copied in the location uh, in slash data folder. So here in data folder, you can see that I have one ISO image, which is Windows XP ISO images, just for the demonstration purpose. But you can go with any ISO images like Ubuntu, Linux, or Windows, anyone, right? So let me go with the some basic steps forward. Choose the CD-ROM or ISO images. So I'll go with the browse local. Here is the other location in my computer. I have a data folder. In my data folder, I have the WinXP ISO images. So I select that one. Automatically select the operating system that is Windows XP. Click on the forward. Then the memory, I set 5000 sufficient for me. I'll go with two virtual port CPU. Otherwise, you can go with one. It's totally depend on the hardware. And size is 10 GB sufficient for the Windows XP. I click forward. 
and this is the default location where lib lib word images where the system is going to be installed its location so where lib lib word d images here you will be find out when i click uh, when i go with the installation the image file will be created here okay this is the path so let me go back click on the finish so now this virtual machine is now being created allocation of disk storage and retrieval of the installation image may take few minutes to be complete right so we need to just wait yeah here it is a console and now if i go back again with ll command you can see that win xp.com to find out okay so here uh, find out this qemu look at that qemu is there and now windows setup is started so qemu if i talk about qemu is a machine emulator that can run operating system in two kernels so one machine on different hp however it is more often used as a virtualizer in collaboration with the qem kernel component in that case it is used the hardware of to virtualize that's the point right so let me go with the setup and definitely it will take some time so let me follow few steps once the file system is going to be started copying from my iso to the hard drive then i'll go to pause this screen for recording for a couple of minutes and once it completes successfully i'll come back again right so let's go with the first of all basic steps setup is loading the files so this is just only for the demonstration you can go with any kind of operating system like ubuntu or fedora or rel iso but hopefully the picture is clear how we can install this one and install the operating system right so this is the first method right where we are using the word manager to install the uh, one virtual machine another method is that we can go with the word install command line tool to create the vm right so let it be complete first then i'll uh, let it be started for filing the copies uh, then i will show you how we can run the word install command right so let me write down the syntax of word install command word install python python name let me go with rhel iso this time uh, rhel 9 then we can use vcpu virtual cpu I said one memory uh, hyphen hyphen sorry here's the hyphen hyphen memory what memory size you want to go with that one so I want to go with that two five zero zero megabyte hyphen hyphen CD ROM suppose I have a file rel ISO in my root directory so I'll go with this path and hyphen hyphen disk size I said size is equal to 10 so let me complete first enter to continue separate for license agreement and i'll go with the ntfs formatting started okay so now setup is going to be formatted and now you can see this is the command line tool through which we can install the virtual machine so the name what install is the command line tool name rel this is rel set the vm's name as rel line virtual core cpu allocation of one virtual core cpu of the vm memory is 2500 mb of ram 256 mm and then the cd room the iso path suppose if you have iso path inside your root folder so you can make it this path and disk size is 256 size. So once you press enter, the file will be hidden. But this is only for the uh, just for the demonstration purpose. I'm not going to follow this method because uh, I have already working with the word manager command, right? So setup is going to be formatting and started. So it will take some time. Now you can see uh, format is started. Yeah. Now, yeah. So you can see the files started copying from my ISO to hard drive. So it will take some time. 
uh, I'm going to pause the video once it successfully copied all files. I will resume it again. So till we will wait. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, started. So I'm going to pause this screen, right? So welcome back guys, uh, you can see that this is the welcome to Microsoft Windows screen in front of us. So let me complete some basic requirements. Say next, hard disk will take 20 minutes in my machine to complete the setup, but it's totally depend up to your hardware infrastructure. Not right now, I don't require tell product my PC, so I said no. Just click next. Okay, let me make a normal user for this one. I said RAM. Then say next. Thank you. Okay, I got the congratulations. You have ready to go. So I have successfully installed Windows XP uh, operating system in my Linux KVM platform. Right. So this is the biggest part. Now we have created some VM that is the hardest part is over, right? So next is learning how to manage your VMs from the command line. Similarly, by using this process, you can install any operating system, like uh, any kind of platform like Linux or Windows. And if you want to go with the command line, I told you this is the method what is called command line tool. You can do that. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to go with the management part, uh, may vary slightly depending on whether you are using Word Manager, GUI tool, or Rush command line tool. So. If you want to manage, like you want to start, stop, so what the options, options are clearly mentioned here. You can go in the virtual machine, pause, shut down, migrate, delete, something like that. Views are here, console are here, send keys are there, and files are there, right? So you can control it from here also, or what we can do, we can use Versh command line tool. Versh means virtual shell, right? And so in this session, we are going to learn how to perform some of the Versh command line uh, tool like virtual shell. So you first of all, you need to know how to install Let's the existing VM on your system so I can run Versh command and I got the help for the uh, available commands are there or we can use quit to quit from the virtual shell right so I run the Versh command let me show you some basic command uh, I'll go with the list once I press list so currently it is uh, it shows me that there's a one Windows XP machine is running with the ID2 and if you want to stop it start it so you can run the basic command like shut down SHUT shut down when XP so once I press XP shut down you can see on the background machine is going to be shut down right similarly i can start it i can delete it i can manage it each and everything i can manage from the command line tool so if you are a manage you can start it again start s t a r t start windows xp when it is going to be started right so here's the back so hopefully you can understand how we can uh, go with the virtual line tool and perform the, those tasks and uh, why are using Versh command line tool? We can start, stop, pause, delete, and do all management things via command line tool, right? And if you want to stop this machine from here, so it's required to be very easy. Shut down, force for forcefully off, or save, or shut down the option. So I, I just forcefully off. Are you sure to continue? Yes, I am. So once I click, I forcefully stop. If you want to delete that one, it's again required to be very easy. Click from here and delete from here. So once you click delete, it will delete your storage also where lib lib word images so are you sure yes i want to delete that one okay don't ask me confirm yes and now it's just click on so it's gone from here even it's gone from here also you can say list type and type and all show me the start stop any condition you have a solution currently i don't have any one so guys hopefully uh, you will understand how we can work with the word magic command line tool right so it's all about this topic Finally, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. If you will something I have missed or you wanted to know more something new, please reach out to me through my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.